everyone. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Wherever you're going to be watching this video, welcome back, welcome back, everybody. It's nice and gloomy today here. <laughs> and the topic of today is 8th of March. I'm here to have a friendly reminder that uh, 8th of March is coming no matter what. No matter what somebody believes on, no matter what somebody does not believe in. So <laughs> the topic of this video is uh, will Ukrainian women give up the holiday due to the political situation, due to certain changes and things like this. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, I probably could make this video very short by just saying um, no Ukrainian woman ever would give up a holiday, <laughs> no matter um, what the politics are, how they are changing, and so on and so forth. <laughs> so last year, um, we have certain... So just so you understand why is even a conversation about giving up the 8th of March, uh, country is really divided in people who are on the east, on the west, and in the middle. Um, a lot of people associate, um, a lot of people associate uh, 8th of March with um, socialism and, and, you know, time in USSR. And so Ukraine is sort of trying to build their own things now because for the longest time it was a part of the USSR and so on and so forth. And now it's, especially with the previous president, it was very popular to be uh, Russia hating and to be uh, do everything the opposite of what Russia does. So it's all politics. But tell me, show me a woman that would uh, agree <laughs> to give up something that she is enjoying. Show me a lady that would, uh, uh, that would um, willingly that's the word, willingly, give up something that she is enjoying. Hi, Erin. Have you seen a lady like that that would just say, you know what, take this holiday away from me? I Just so you know, most ladies do not give rat's ass about politics. That's number one. Sorry for my French. <laughs> but this is the truth. Most ladies do, could, could not care less about the politics and what's going on, and they're waiting for the holiday. I have memories, uh, you know, from USSR times, and even, well, not you really USSR, more like post-USSR times, where people, it's a tradition. So from being a socialistic holiday, you know, was, you know, women's movement and all of that, you can read about it, the history of International Women's Day. Uh, I'm going to sit a little bit... So, that's how it started, you know, it was originally uh, slightly, it was slightly political, uh, slightly, not slightly, it actually was political, but guess what, when it comes to feminine women, they're going to turn everything political to something very non-political, so now this holiday for last 20 years, I would say, this has been a holiday of women, spring and beauty. In Ukraine and Russia, people count spring from March 1st. If in the United States, in I think it's 21st or 22nd, uh, it's considered spring. But in Ukraine, March 1st, March is considered as a spring month. And so 8th of March um, became the holiday of beauty, spring, and women. And who could ever go wrong with being... <laughs> <laughs> with beauty, spring, and women. I feel that if there would be more beauty in the world, there would be less wars because men uh, would be a lot busier and <laughs> and they would be a lot happier and they would think less about how to attack somebody. But that is just my opinion. <laughs> so if you have doubts, I received a letter from somebody and I want to say thank you so much uh, for uh, requesting the question. It was somebody from my... Um, Patreon group, and he was asking, he was not sure, because there was just a celebration of uh, Valentine's Day, and Valentine's, and he was like, do we then do also Valentine's and 
uh, 8th of March. And, you know, I just want to talk to the guys who are more practical. I do understand that these things, they might be silly, they might make no sense, uh, they might uh, be not really practical, very frivolous. But if you think about this, if you think on things from this perspective, then we don't need to celebrate very much of anything, you know? Why celebrate... Uh, why celebrate anything? Because everything, we can basically live uh, in a carton box if we really want to, you know. <laughs> this is a little bit of ultra um, or extreme vision, but I do think that we need miracles. I do think that we need surprises. I do believe that these things just make life a lot more pleasant. Knowing what kind of surprise, you know, knowing what is that thing that somebody is enjoying is kind of an art to understand another person, to feel them, to understand them. But um, without these little things, life would be uh, so, so much less fun. You can see that by the, you know, more practical Western mentalities that most of you guys do not not always enjoy especially when it comes to women and femininity a lot of you guys do not particularly um enjoy the practicality of you know western women and you know the practical dresses the no makeup the no nails you know it's like you hate it sometimes when women take two hours to dress up but most of you enjoy when you see the result of it you know, as women, we really wish that we would wake up like this, you know, with our hair done and, you know, lipstick on. It would be real, it would be real handy. But, <laughs> so we do, as women, we do impractical things every day. I mean, especially feminine women, uh, we do very impractical things that a lot of Western women have given up. Because they feel as, you know, if they're making the money, they don't have to be an eye candy anymore. But women, just so you understand, they take inspiration in the silliest of things, in the little things. You know, this classic, uh, old-fashioned classic things such as, you know, candies and chocolates and just little gifts and plush toys and, and dresses and, you know, you name it. Every woman is different. But mo most, I'm not saying that all, there are some women that do not enjoy these things. But when it comes to Ukrainian or Slavic women, I would say it's probably about 95% uh, as far as I know. I would even say 100 in certain areas. <laughs> we take inspiration in those beautiful things. And I understand that as men, uh, you just can't uh, un quite understand that just as I cannot understand how somebody can enjoy being under the car having the working gloves on and touch that oil and try to you know be the man under the car I cannot un understand how a guy can <laughs> be under the vehicle for the entire weekend and have a great time I cannot I understand the idea some like <laughs> Well, let's just say this, I'm trying to understand and I'm getting the idea, but the thought of it gives me chills because that would be the most awful weekend in uh, any woman's life. If you have to be, you know, uh, in this car oil and trying to fix something. So that's just what it is. This is just a classic uh, example of fem uh, feminine and masculine. And so no. Ukrainian women are not going to give up their holidays that's been generation to generation past. Because uh, I think our grandmas are celebrating that too. I need to ask my mom. But ain't nobody giving that up. So if you have doubts, don't doubt. Because if you forget... <laughs> and you are in a relationship or you just like somebody or you just want to show make somebody smile it's a great opportunity but if you are in a real in a relationship and you forget that's instant death <laughs> just write it down instant death so ain't nobody want to die привет <laughs> привет 
I have a guest from Ukraine. She sometimes helps in my videos. She's so cool. А у меня сегодня, знаешь, какая тема? Про 8 марта. И тема 8 марта, я рассказываю о том, что какая бы ни была политика, 8 марта будет 8 марта, и женщины всегда хотят праздника и подарков. Вот. Так что подтверди, если ты со мной согласна. I was just sharing uh, with uh, this special guest from Ukraine that uh, would she agree that Ukrainian women are not giving up AIDS of March whatsoever, even if, you know, God himself comes down and asks. <laughs> so, basically, it's... Um, even if that would be a lot more logic to giving up the holiday... I don't think that, uh, you know, women follow logic anyway when it comes to things like that. And they do not, um, they, ju they just do not care. <laughs> and I also want to mention something about this, that <laughs> life is so short. We have so much stress. We have so many things to worry about. We have so many things to maintain. We have so many and so much energy that we give to other people. Uh, we are often feel ourselves in the rut. So instead of cutting off the holidays, we should add more. And I know sometimes you don't feel like a holiday when the holiday is on a calendar. It happens. But my point is, I honestly believe, I have been reminded so many times in this last couple of years how short life is. I think we should celebrate uh, as much as possible. A celebration may look different for every person, you know. There might be uh, a person that really don't care for cards and, and, and little gifts. They just really want to be on vacation somewhere. Uh, somebody just want to receive love letters. Somebody wants to make love for 24 hours, <laughs> well, or so. Uh, people have different ways of... Uh, people have different ways of uh, feeling appreciation, but I really think that there is no such a thing as overdoing the joyful things. And if there is no occasion, it's a great idea to actually come up with occasion. That is, these are just my thoughts. So I just want to share that with you, my friends. Not going to stay for too long today. Привет! Привет, Вика! Oh, uh, um, so I have another guest from Ukraine, and she's saying that she's waiting for the day. It's going to be a three-day weekend. So, yes, you know, and the, the beautiful thing about it, as I remember, um, as I remember this myself, you know, growing up, everybody is so beautiful. You know, women have their hair dyed. There is all kinds of perfumes in the air. There are, uh, you know, beautiful dresses. I mean, it's just... It's inspiring, you know, if you are inspired by beauty and you are in Ukraine, you will see that or in Russia, it's still, uh, it's just most things that bring joy, they're not necessarily practical. Most things that bring joy, they uh, might make no sense. But we still love and enjoy them. So, so that's, that's what I want to share with you if you have any doubts. Um, <laughs> Aaron is, hey Aaron, you still here? Aaron is saying the Ukrainian lady exudes happiness and shows appreciating for small gifts like uh, flowers, cakes, perfume, etc. Yes, and I always say this uh, as well, uh, when you get, uh, when you do something so sweet and lovely for somebody, it's really, it's always gift for two. You always enjoy it uh, because that feeling that you get I truly believe that the feeling that you get when you treat somebody and you see their reaction, I believe it's a double of what the person that receives it. But this is uh, just my point of view. Uh, feel free to share how you feel about it. Uh, I could not go through, through today without reminding you about 8th of March. Maybe you need to do something. Maybe, you know, whatever you do. And another thing is, 8th of March is also a holiday when you can show something sweet 
to a lady that um that you like you don't you don't have to necessarily date her like uh, as if uh, uh, in Ukraine, for example, we uh, treat our teachers, you know, our moms, our grandmas as our friends. You know, we can have a girl, girls party and stuff like that. So you can, if you gave a gift to a lady on the 8th of March, it doesn't mean that, oh, okay, she's my girlfriend or I'm dating her. You have my full permission to treat somebody or make somebody smile. Maybe it's somebody that you appreciate, somebody who inspires you, somebody you enjoy, somebody, somebody, some lady that means something to you. She, she can be, you know, any, uh, she can have any of these relationships to you. She doesn't have to be your woman or your girlfriend, but you can still do that. It's it's appropriate because I know in the United States, uh, sometimes if you receive a gift from somebody, from a man, uh, it's often considered, oh, wow, is he hitting on me? Or is he, yes, you can show your appreciation. You can show your adoration and things may or may not um progress but i i'm such a big believer in uh, making gifts for people without the expectation or without trying to label it somehow sometimes you just feel it inside uh, i had this situation one time where i was at uh i was coming to ukraine after seven years uh not visiting my own town my own city and and country it was a long time. I had a difficult time in my life and I could not travel for very many years in a row. And a friend who was uh, meeting me greet, uh, in the airport, he came with a huge, humongous um, bouquet of roses. And they were almost as tall as I am. I'm not very tall, so... <laughs> given uh, so they were they were so beautiful and he is you know he has a girlfriend and all of it but he told me you know I just felt it I hadn't seen you for so long and you inspired me in your ways I just want you to I just wanted to and that was just you know one of the most beautiful moments I remember from the trip, I definitely have not expected that, but it was wonderful. And uh, Ukrainian women, in general, Slavic women, they do not always think if you give them flowers or gifts or any other, any other thing, they do not necessarily presume that, oh, okay, now I owe him something or now uh, it turns from a friendship to something more. It could be, I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible, but, but, uh, we were lucky to have men around us who would cherish and appreciate us and compliment us. I have to say, and I have ladies on my channel, so if you understand English, <laughs> please tell me if you had unknown men, like meaning just not somebody that you are in relationship with doing wonderful things for you. I truly hope that there are ladies who can um, confirm this. So, uh, yes, let me see. Uh, I've had the, the most random things happening to me, uh, wonderful things from men I don't know, and I could not pay back or do anything. Uh, but also, it's okay from friends, somebody you admire, somebody you appreciate, it's a great day. Well, just as other days in our lives are also great. I'm personally, um, I love things, uh, you know, just because you know, without a reason. So, I, I think I give you a good idea. Um, wait. I think somebody used the Google Translator. If you are an American and you, or you speak English and you use Google Translator, we're not going to understand each other. The translation is awful. Так, девочки, что тут у нас? Привет, привет. Целя учит английский. Да? Учишь целюнчик? Окей. Цветы – отличный подарок. Согласна. Сейчас переведу. 
хотя это видно. Uh, one of my uh, new subscribers ladies is saying that flowers is a wonderful present. Flowers is really, it's an expression of emotion. Flowers are not a material present, but it's, uh, it's an emotional present. And it's, it's uh, also have symbol. Uh, flowers have symbols. Well, I might be going <laughs> too much in the depths on it, but flowers are symbols. <laughs> wow, so now I'm having a few uh, Ukrainian girls, ladies on the, ch on, uh, on the chat. Hopefully they will come often so I can uh, back up my words or just having somebody from Ukraine saying yes, yes. <laughs> Спасибо, девочки. Какие у вас любимые подарки на 8 марта? И а, рецепты из жизни, как тебя зовут? Я же не знаю. Представься. Я, я знаю, Целя любит бриллианты. So, sometimes, uh, if you are in a relationship, if that is your special woman, the precious stones are a good gift. I wouldn't say to, you know, throw the diamonds and gold at just people that you just met. It might send the wrong message, but if it's somebody who is special for you or somebody, of course, you live with, you live with, or uh, it's somebody, well, very special, uh, it's a good time to give, you know, pearls or, oh, I have pearls right here. <laughs> Uh, it's it's not a bad idea. So, flowers symbolize emotions, freshness, beauty, blossom. You know, women's beauty. The precious gifts, the precious, uh, the jewelry symbolize uh, love, but it symbolizes it in stone. So, jewelry symbolizes uh, love that does not fade. Because precious metals such as, you know, gold and, and di you know, and stones like diamonds and sapphires, I don't know who, you know, whatever you like, silver, a lot of platinum, uh, they show love that stays. Because these items or these uh, very special things, they can be passed from generation to generation and uh, therefore they are many, many, many years from now. Uh, they will still be here as they don't spoil, they, they don't, uh, nothing happens to them. So they stay for a long time and this is shows love that does not fade. I believe in Arabic culture that uh, uh, gold, you know, they give a lot of gold. Gold means that I love you and uh, my love is forever. So because... Once again, even money will finish, you know, or end. But if you hold on to the jewelry, it means that that man uh, truly loves you. And if you ever have a hard time, if he ever something happens, you can always uh, take care of things. In, you would hate to sell it, but that's also the point in Russian and Ukrainian cultures that we, you know, we would get gold from our grandparents or from the men, from husband or, you know, from our mother. And it's a family thing, but it's also an investment. Hopefully you never, uh, never ever need to do it. But if you need to, it's, it's uh, such as, you know, you have savings in your bank. So, and of course, first, I'm not wearing first today, but, you know, first in Russian and Ukraine, they called soft gold. First can stay for quite a long time as well, very long time, decades. So, and you know who is your favorite, uh, <laughs> who has the best first shop, right? <laughs> it, is, it is a lovely gift, and I'm happy that some of you are... Uh, Considering that as well, uh, you know, once in a while, uh, I uh, have people reaching out to me uh, about the furs. I should be able to open another channel to talk about furs and glam and have girls and just have a girls channel, you know, about, you know, just about feminine things. But 
I don't know if I can stretch myself. Я говорю, что было бы здорово открыть канал для, для женщин а, о украшениях, о мехах, о женственности, об отношениях, но, блин, не хватает меня <laughs> на все. Ладно, не будем ругаться. It's so, it's so unusual for me to have uh, ladies on the, on the chat. Я говорю, мне так необычно, у меня 97% подписчиков мужчины, так непривычно uh, девушек на своем чате. <laughs> Конечно, люблю брюлики, на них денег не напасешься, поэтому мёзла не подумаешь, что цветы. Салатик. А, ну да, ты, ты любишь... Uh, ты любишь, ты любишь вкусненькое, Циля, ты лучше прекращай с этими всеми плюшками и печами, окей? Okay? Ой, I have a very talented uh, Ukrainian lady here, she actually, I'm planning to make interview with her, I'm not gonna tell you anything else, but she is incredible cook, she makes food, I literally wanna buy a ticket, hop on a plane and fly to Ukraine right now. Целя, я рассказываю о тебе. Я говорю, что у меня есть очень а, способная и талантливая мадам, <laughs> которая делает невероятно вкусную еду, и которая хочет меня... Про... Вот я просто хочу купить билет и сесть в самолет, и все. Где мои плюшечки, где мои сырнички? Я так не играю вообще. <laughs> Кстати, я сказала, что а, ничего о тебе не расскажу, но мы запишем с тобой интервью. Uh, давай сделаем сюрприз на годовщину сама знаешь чего. Вот. И хватит нас дразнить. Шучу, конечно. Если честно, мне все нравится то, что ты делаешь. Все. Sorry, guys, but you can actually hear, speak, uh, hear me speak in my language, because a lot of people had never heard, uh, a lot of people had never even heard me Uh, speaking uh, Russian and Ukrainian. Кстати, я тоже на суржике умею разговаривать, но uh, так, знаешь, <laughs> под настроение. Честно, умею, потому что ж выросла. Где ж? <laughs> Ты будешь мой этот <laughs> вдохновитель. Ой, uh... Жизнь такая короткая, я не по диетам. Но и не по обжорству, все от настроения зависит. У меня лучшая диета есть одна, но не могу ее сказать, потому что если я ее скажу, то это слово международное. Она из трех букв, но из, из четырех. Первая S, потом еще несколько букв. Короче, кто понял, тот понял. Сейчас, Русланчик, I'm on life, сведи. Окей, okay. <laughs> всем спасибо, thank you so very much for joining, I'm so excited uh, to have uh, people from Ukraine, I know you did not expect my life in the daytime again, but I'll do them when I can, so please do not doubt, if you want to do something lovely, do it, whether it's 8th of March, 8th of May, <laughs> First of September, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you this beautiful little orchid I have. Uh, it's by, by the way, orchids are beautiful. I love orchids. They're so pretty because they stay for such a long, long time. So, guys, from Michigan with love. С праздничком, с наступающим, девочки. Всех поздравляю. Любви, радости. Всего-всего. Море, океан. Океан, любви и радости. Всем-всем. Joy, love, sun <laughs> from Michigan with love, guys. I will see you soon. Political things will never make a Ukrainian woman give up her holiday. 